Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome to the Daily Inspirational Oracle Reading. If you have any problems, issues, or concerns, perhaps you're looking for a different perspective, another way to look at your problem, or just a sign from the universe, this reading may help you, or you may simply allow your mind to settle within your heart and let whatever issues you have surface from your subconscious and let it resonate with this reading. The first card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you today is, do something physical that brings you pleasure. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, who represents the heart chakra universal love, living passionately, living, loving what we do, um, loving for everyone. Um, love multiplies when you give it away. And then the last card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents your throat chakra, our ability to speak the truth, hear the truth, and resonate with the truth. And her message to you is always do your own research, darling. So let's just jump into this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So the general message for today is wealth and prosperity, child, is it wants to come to you. It wants to, it just, it needs you to open the gate. Wealth and prosperity tell me to tell you, knock, 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 please open up because we're here. But I'm going to tell you what to do to open that gate, okay? That is what this reading is about. So the card we have from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara that says, do something physical that brings you pleasure. So let's just talk for a second. We just need to talk. Have you ever looked at like maybe some people and you just wonder how did they get so wealthy? And you just can't believe it. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Here I am working my fingers to the bone and here is this person. I mean, this person can barely rap. This person can barely sing. I can't believe how wealthy this person is. You don't even understand how that person acquired that wealth. Okay, let me tell you something that what I personally know about money. Money resonates at the frequency of joy and pleasure. If you want to know how close you are to all of your dreams coming true, then I want you to think about the mood you have been in for, let's say, the last three months. Were you in a good mood? Were you joyous? Did you do things that make that gave you pleasure? Did you did you laugh a lot? Because I'm I'm telling you that listen to me, wealth and prosperity resonates at the frequency, darling, of joy and pleasure. This is why you see rock stars and rappers and people who you think, you know, you're thinking like he's but he's a nincompoop. I don't believe it. How did this how 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 does she get guys who you know always giving her money? How does this person I bet you it's a person who's kinda happy go lucky. So that's the first rule. So do something physical that brings you pleasure. So if you want to bring in more prosperity, more wealth, more money into your life, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you are in a state of joy and happiness. Sometimes, child, it is about baking, making a good meal for yourself. And especially like, you know, um, some root chakra foods like carrots, potatoes, you know, anything that comes from the earth, like a root vegetable. Um, beef stew beef stew is a really good root chakra food but if you don't like it then don't eat it but basically you want to I want you to make a list of 10 things right now before this video ends they give you an immense amount of pleasure and when, uh, movies you like to watch like I have my go to movies that always bring me joy um, love and basketball child hmm Love and Basketball, one of my all-time favorite movies. Whenever I watch that movie, it puts a smile on my face. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey, yep. Love me some Fifty Shades of Grey. Actually, I read all three books twice. 
sure did. And I like the first movie, but I don't like the other two, but that's not the point. But these are things that make me happy. Um, when you pop in that music, like I love Barry White, don't I? I know I love country music, but oh, I love me some Barry White, okay? I automatically, my mood shifts. I'm in a really good mood. Some, mood, some music, it's like, it makes me sad. It, 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 it taps into my sadness, my melancholiness, you know what I'm saying? And it helps me to cleanse myself. But when I want to feel like really sensuous and happy, I'm popping in some Barry White, okay? So I want you to think about the music that make you happy, the foods that make you happy. When you eat them, your curls, your toes curl and you're like, oh my God. Like if you're giving yourself a pedicure, your favorite body wash, do you have a body wash that when you put it on, you're like, you remember that commercial, Calgon, take me away? Like whatever it is, but it should be things in your life that really, really, really make you happy. If it's a wine and you, whenever you, you're like, oh my God, I'm on a beach. So you pop it in, you're gonna go ahead and get your glass of wine or your glass of tea. And then you are going to, you know, uh, you're going to make sure you have your favorite perfume. Because you know how you have that perfume, that scent, or your incense that puts you in a really, really good mood, darling. And then you're going to put on your favorite outfit. You know how you have that outfit. It could be a pair of old jeans. I want you to do this for a whole week. I want you to practice this because I'm going to do it too. For seven days, tell yourself this. I'm not going to worry about student loans. I'm not going to worry about anything, any bills, anybody, nothing. For seven days, you're, before, you, in, in, before you, you know, get started on this plan to attract the wealth, because you want to get it going, child, I want you to make a plan. What you're going to wear for seven days, I want you to plan your outfit, I want you to plan your food, your music, your movies that you're going to watch what you like to listen to what you like to do there if there are certain people you talk to and those people do not make you happy you cannot talk to them now you cannot don't answer the phone or just tell them like look i'm going to be on vacation i'm going to be resonating at the frequency of joy for seven days darling and i just cannot talk to you this week literally do not talk to them call your friends matter of fact if you want to have them join you for seven days no negative thoughts no negative thinking no nothing negative like he's like I'll deal with you next week but this week I am going to be resonating at the frequency of joy and pleasure now whew, I promise you you do this your vibrations going to change favorite lipstick okay favorite makeup like you you got to go ahead and just play it up I want you to be the version of yourself who has already accomplished all of your dreams, darling. I want you to act like her, talk like her, act like him, be like, you know what I'm saying? If you're, if you're a male, I want you to, to be that person, female, whatever. I want you to be the grandest version of yourself. I want you to pretend just for seven days. And, I, and then I want you to write down at the end of each day, like any of your thoughts and your feelings. And remember, if any time a negative thought <coughs> try to creep up, I need you to say, um, I'll deal with you next week. I'll talk to you next week. But this week, I'm, I'm, you know, this is just not the week for that. Now, nothing that makes you sad, not, unless it's happy tears, okay? Nothing that makes you sad. No music, no TV shows, no, people, even if it's your mom, say, Mom, I can talk to you this week because... Yeah, I'll talk to you next week, though. Uh, something is going on. I'll, I'll let you know I'm okay. I'll text you. All right. Now, that's what I want you to do. So, you're going to do something physical that brings you pleasure for seven days, but you're going to do the whole nine. You're going to have a whole seven days of literally resonating at the frequency of joy because you want prosperity and wealth to find your address, darling. Because they only, they can only come to you when you are resonating at this frequency, okay? Trust me on this one. This is why you see so many people who have established so much wealth are happy, um, or, you know, and sometimes I hate to say it, but they may even, you know, use, you know, certain things to make themselves happy. 
the universe doesn't care. There's a certain frequency that I'm not asking you to do that, by the way, because I'm I don't, I don't I personally don't do that. I'm already I don't need anything, but I'm just saying I want you to practice being happy and joyous for one week. I want you to plan your clothes. I want you to plan your food. I want you to plan your activities. I want you to plan your music, your movies. I want you to be the highest and grandest version of yourself for one week, not to let anybody or anything bother you. And then I would like for you to report back to me, Dolly, and tell me what that week was like. What ideas did you come up with? What, what came to you? Next, okay, now that you have this week of... Um, resonating at the frequency of joy and pleasure darling I want you to understand something love multiplies when you give it away so this week includes you know if you like to bake cookies this is a trick if you love baking cookies and when you bake cookies they cause you to resonate at the frequency of joy I want you to bake cookies that week okay and I want you to give them away have you ever like done something for somebody and it was you received more pleasure from actually giving it to them like like it just made you puff your chest out and you just felt so good about yourself like wow i actually touched somebody i actually made a difference in somebody's life have you ever done that before i know i have like it just like it just make you feel so good you know what i'm saying so whatever you enjoy Whatever you love, I want you to generously give it away. Like if you like to, if you like sewing, if you like painting, paint, you know, in this week of joy, paint people you love a picture, draw them a picture, you know what I mean? Maybe you could write some letters to your family members. If you love to write, write, and say, I'm going to write 10 people a letter to inspire them. You know what I'm saying? Or just Whatever you love, you want to give it away because what you give away multiplies. Don't ever forget this. You know, do something like, you know, go and leave money somewhere for somebody to find. Yes. And but don't don't say anything. Just say, I hope you enjoy this gift, darling, from the universe. May God bless your life. Just leave it for some dollar. Just leave it. Okay. So this is your week of joy. Not only are you going to treat yourself kind, you're going to give this love away because whatever you have, whether it's sharing your money, whether it's sharing your time, you're baking cookies, drawing pictures, whatever it is, I want you to give something away as well. Whew. So, and the last card, which really should have been maybe the first card, but we have from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara about always do your own research. And she's really about connecting with your truth. You cannot find where your your prosperity. You can't find the key to your prosperity, the key to your wealth, the key to your money is really connected to your truth. And one of the things that I have found is that and I don't know why it's set up like this, but let's just say you're really, really passionate about something and people are telling you, child, they don't make no money, or everybody and their daddy got a channel, or everybody, um, you can't do this, or you can't do that. Do you know how long you have to go to school for some reason? Whenever somebody wants to embark upon the journey of their dreams, there's always people telling you what you cannot do, but you, have to do your own research but spirit wants you to be in the mindset of joy in the frequency of joy and when you're doing your research to know that if you want to teach and maybe you can write grants maybe you can you know do other things maybe you know like when in the this is what I want to tell you whatever vibration you are in when you do research that is the type of data you will find this is I have found this to be true over and over again when you are resonating at the frequency of joy and when you are happy with yourself this is when you want to start doing your research into what should be your next move should you take the the raise on your job should you move to another position what should you um, marry this person like whatever is going on don't make a decision 
under the our frequency of doubt or fear or worry you know whatever so the the way this reading is moving is you want to make sure that you you resonate at the frequency of joy remember you're going to be super happy you're going to give that love away and then whatever it is you want to manifest in your life this is the time for you to do your own research because you are going to tra attract the vibration of where you are resonating. Does that make sense? I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, darling. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.